Hi, good morning. Uh, welcome to Getting It Done. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, target frames, or actually bag target frames. Uh, I like, I, I just like using the bags. Uh, I can position them around in my backyard a lot better, and uh, just to repair and get ready for deer season. Uh, you know, if you're get, not getting out there and practicing all year, then it, when it comes time to making that shot on that, that nice uh, trophy buck, uh, you know, it's a good chance you might miss it. So get out there as much as you can and practice, practice, practice. All right, guys, uh, this is one of my target frames that I, I use uh, for my bag targets. Uh, you know, pretty inexpensive. Uh, I think it, at the most, you know, it cost me around uh, $10 to make myself. Uh, you'll see I have the bag. Now, the bag, that's without the bag. Uh, the little bag I got at Walmart for $25. Uh, you know, and then all the parts and the, the uh, uh, everything for the, the actual frame is only, you know, only cost me about 10 bucks. So very sturdy, you know, they hold my bags. I've used this frame right here for like three years now. And you know, hey, I just, you know, stained it and it holds up, it holds up great out here in, in, you know, in the outdoors. All right guys, the next thing I'm gonna show you is basically, you know, what, is it, what does it take to build this stand? It basically takes uh, three two by four by eights, okay? And then some, some mounting hardware, that's all. Uh, I use uh, three and a half inch deck screws just because I keep mine outside year round, but you can use nails, you can use uh, any kind of, you know, I would say at least a three and a half inch or, or you know, two, I think I use three and a half inch to two inch uh, deck screws or nails, work great. All right, now what I'm gonna do is just give you a little uh, close up of the, of the target frame and uh, let you see all the different components of it. All right, as you can see here, uh, these are the connectors that I use uh, for my bag target. And uh, you know, I got these right here at Lowe's. Uh, they're pretty good. You see, they're real easy to take off. You just lift them up and the bag just pops out. Pops out and down. Uh, they got a little uh, little rubber grommet inside. So it helps with the swinging of the bag and stuff, but they're very sturdy. You know, easy on and off as you show here. Right back in the hole and it's back on there. All right, guys. The uh, the legs, uh, as you'll see here, it's just a uh, simple T with a uh, you know with a two by four back bracing. Uh, this works great for me. Uh, I got my brother. He uses the same thing. He he braces front and back, but uh, you know I, I didn't see any need because uh, you know like I said, it's put together very well. They're very sturdy, and uh, the single the single bracing works fine. I've never had a problem with the legs coming off. All right, this shot here will just show you uh, how I brace up the bottom. Okay, uh, I mount the uh, the legs on the inside, uh, and then I use my braces on the inside. You can do it either or. Uh, you can put your braces or your legs on the outside and brace from the outside. Uh, I just think it just gives it a little bit more slimmer profile if I keep them on the inside. Uh, also, uh, after putting it all together, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and stain it or uh, paint it or you know whatever put some kind of protective coating on it especially if you're going to leave it outdoors all year like I do you know so the wood doesn't rot uh, you know insects don't get into it you know especially the legs they set on the ground you know with all the moisture and everything uh, you know they rot easy but as you can see on this right here and I'll kind of tilt it up and back for you you know like I said this has been sitting out here for uh, you know like I said for three years and you can see right here you know because I stained it, I mean, they're perfect. The legs are perfect. All right, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's little, you know, archery tip. And, uh, you know, go out here and make you some uh, target frames and start practicing.